Hi guys, here we go again. This is my reaction for Winning Saga episode 7 called Normandy or Normandy, I guess. Um, this uh, episode is going to be awesome, I feel. Like uh, last episode, we saw uh, Torfin growing, uh, becoming a badass. Um, like he went from uh, almost dying on the battlefield, uh, getting saved uh, as a kid by Ascalad, right? And um, Ascalad says to him there, like, the weak die first, right? And Torfin just goes from there to killing a man. And then the whole uh, growth um, started. And uh, damn, he, he is going places, let's, let's say that. But he does have the... The god in him, right? The 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 Taurus, um, blood. So let's see if, uh, if this will make him to a insane warrior, right? Um, later on in the episode, he goes on like a scouting mission for Ascalad, uh, and he kind of have to, right? Because you know, if he doesn't do it, Ascalad doesn't have any need for him. So he's only allowed to tag along, I guess, because you know he's useful. So. Uh, but he's wounded on this mission, and uh, it ends up with him being saved by this woman uh, and, her, and her daughter, right? And they nurture him back to health, uh, even cover for him actually, which was really surprising, but they did. And uh, at some point, uh, uh, he just gets up and uh, asks him to run. Um, and this is where he set fire to this like lodge on the, the beach, right? And of course, this is a signal fire for the other Vikings, right? Um, but yeah, this this lady, she didn't run, uh, and you know we didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure she was either killed, raped, or you know enslaved, right? So yeah, very bad. But um, that is how it was back then, right? So anyway, guys, uh, if you haven't seen it already, you can now become a member of my channel. So please check that out, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the bell, and don't miss out on anything I do. Even leave a like. I appreciate it. Let's go! Here we go guys. Oh. So they're just like raiding England for everything it got. So she did Okay, so now we're going places. Yelling Denmark. Uh, okay. Okay, so the king wants to pull them back. To rest. And then I'm guessing the war will begin. Oh, the king will even join. Oh, yeah, Yes, they are. Yeah, I forget they are not actually really like you know in the army. They're just hired pirates, right? Marshalado, konamama fuyo kosu no wa chito sabishiku ne ka. Meboshi mura wa tairage chimatta shi yo. Da yo na. Dou suru tsumori da. Dou suru mo kou suru mo. Watari dori to issho sa. Ah, which means they're not staying in England, they're going to Normandy, right? Let's go! Full scale war, let's see it! Kingdom of France, okay. Done. 
<laughs> they lost, but they this didn't, didn't look like Vikings, so. Ah, okay, so it's Franks on Franks, okay. Okay, so it's Franks on Franks, okay. Let's go, what do you have in mind, man? やるか。I mean, why not just come from the seaside, right? It's way more open. And they are probably not like, you know, as good fighting from land to water as they are from land to land, right? Once again, Torpen is up. Still running the double dagger. Look at him. Episode 7, Norman. <笑>よっては我が兵団を助けもうする。<laughs> You have to talk, man. No, it just was what we saw last time. Oh, he wants to do it. <laughs> I don't know, like, he did look like he grew, right? But is it enough to fight Askeladd head on? I don't know. You need to bring a head with a helmet on if you want that. でもいいのか大事な交渉を任せちまってエッセの兵は気が立ってる交渉の前に殺されるなんてよくある話さあ oh yeah so so he doesn't lose anything right like if if Torfin is killed this way なんじゃワッパガキの来るところじゃねえぞこれ軍師 can, can they even understand him uh, is there even anyone that can speak Norse フランク人じゃねえな。うん。鳥でのやつらのスパイか。ま、捕らえとけ。ノルタゴ話してるやつはいるか。スコーンウェルダー。戦利品の半分をよこせだと。幽閉不正が銭に乗るよって。<笑><
この話ならばアシラットの部屋100人は鳥出側と手を結ぶ OK So they will join, they will join the bending side if they don't go alone 湘南政治の合図がない場合北海の猛者100人がお前の敵になるよかろうかっかだが貴様の言葉が偽りであればその首を切り落とすまことであれば,であればイエス・キリストの名においてパンを等しく分かち合おうパンを等しく分かち合おう俺の探検を返してくれ親父の形見なんだ He, he doesn't really want to lose the dagger, right? That's the only thing he has from his father, so. Torfin Karan Shirasada. Taka ku ippon, shiku ku niho. So, what does that mean? Skiga no bori kirumai ni toge o koerzo. Let's cross the pass before. So what? What are they planning here? So what are they doing? Dragon! Like, I mean, why are they listening to this, this, this guy? Like, look at him, like, he's the warrior, right? Like, why would anyone follow this one? It's a bad omen. もう日が昇ってしまったぞもう日が昇ってしまったぞいいから突撃しろデブ<笑>すぐに<笑>今なんか悪口言っただろうどうやら貴様の首は今宵の要求になりそうだな<笑> Just wait I'm pretty sure a s k e l o t has something on this sleeper <笑> From the front, that's what I mean. It just tore and just goes in. How will you do that?
So what they are going from like the side? So instead of going like up the stream, they will just go around. Yeah, 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 around, they will just go around, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it's it's so out of the way. And Tofun is right there. But can you get up there? That's the thing. That's what I meant, like, go from the seaside, it's way better. Ah, <laughs> uh, crossbows, uh. Because they, they, yeah, they, they fly super, way faster and harder, right? Here we go! Let's just take all these guys on! Insane, man. It is really a badass. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> slice, slice. Oh, he's just taking one after another. And there's the helmet. There you go. Oh, you're losing it, dude. <laughs> he only cares about that head. Well, they lost their commander, so this should be easy peasy now, right? Look at the size of this Viking compared to these French uh, guys, right? <laughs> they're just having fun, man. But now that there's like a, a two pro attack, right? They, like they cannot defend each side. I'm just looking at uh, the dead guys in here. It's over. They finished it for you guys. Normandy. I still cannot get over that the way Norman is doesn't mean no Normandy. Like I, I really thought. <laughs> あの小僧か。あなどれなノルマニー。このまま返してあわれらの適当なるやもう。いかがいたしましょう。電池は峠を越えてきた。帰りも船を担いでいくだろう。そこを叩く。陸に上がって船乗りなどは赤子同然よ
This guy gets oh. nothing, and you don't deserve anything, dude. <laughs> Look at this king, man. Wow. <笑>あら、<笑><笑> He's not, he's not, don't you worry. You will have to give him that duel. <笑><笑><笑>約束だ。いやとは言わせねえ。アイスランドの戦士、トールズの子、トルフィン。我が父の敵。Yeah, okay, so they're not they're not going to do it right now. Ah, that's why you cannot go from that side because of the waterfall, of course, makes sense. Perfect escape. All the treasure, and they get stuck with nothing, man. Peace. So, there you have it, guys. That was episode 7 called No Manny, and uh, <laughs> I really thought they meant Normandy, but come on, like, many Normandy, right? Like, they did go to France, so I was almost right, right? Um, anyway, this episode was really cool. We saw some more fighting, like a small-scale war, and, um, like, Ascalon is just, just brilliant, man. Like, and Torfin, like, a badass, as, like, as much as you could be, right? Like, um... It starts with him sending Torfin as a messenger, right, to this friend's royal thing, right, lord or whatever. And, uh, like, it, it, it gets a rocky start, let's say that, right? But, uh, Torfin convinces him and, and they, uh, you know, I think they agreed on like 50-50, right, of the spoils. Um, and then they uh, send a message, or ask, not... Torfin sent a message to Askeladd, right, to, to inform him with the arrows that um, that it's on, it's a go, right, they, they're going for it. And uh, that night, uh, some of uh, uh, the, like, the friend's lord's men see uh, this dragon head, right, and of course it's the ships that they're carrying past the waterfall over the mountain, right, because you cannot attack that way any other way, right, but of course the Vikings come up with the, that, this idea, pretty sick. Um, and the next day they, they attack the town and uh, uh, Torfin just tells this like small friend's lord right that you know just attack we will we will do our part right and as soon as he yells for the attack the, the vikings come running in and of course they just slide the boats into the water and sail around I even said it like why, why not just attack from the water side because uh, that way you know they, they cannot defend as well 
but I guess they still needed like a distraction, which of course ended up being the French soldiers, right? Um, and uh, yeah, while they're in there, they just took everything, right? Everything, church, houses, everything. And uh, this, you know, Lord or French guy, right? He, he's yell scammers and everything. And he even wanted to backstab them, right? So good thing they were on, uh, on front with that one. Um, and then of course we see uh, Torfin actually capping the head of uh, that soldier with uh, the helmet, right? So like a leader or something. Uh, and he actually wants to duel Askeladd in, in the moment right there, right? As soon as he returns. But I think like maybe you should rest. Like you look badass and you look like you improved a lot, but maybe give it a rest just for a little bit, right? And Askeladd even said it has to wait. We have to get out of here first, right? Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. I hope uh, Tolfin will get like a better chance at killing Askeladd. Uh, it's kind of sad actually because I'm starting to like Askeladd a lot as a character. Uh, but uh, I also like Tolfin and I want him to do well in their duel. Um, I'm hoping... Yeah, I'm hoping they will, you know, come to like some kind of agreement or something, uh, because this 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 doesn't bode well for either of them, right? Because at some point maybe uh, Tolfin will be so strong they can actually kill Askla, and then what? Uh, <laughs> then what will happen, right? Anyway, guys, uh, awesome episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following, and uh, I guess you see you next episode. Peace.